Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a Humane Educator at the SPCA LA and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cat toy called our Caterpillar Cat Toy. In the end you will have a toy that looks something like this. Um, so it's fun for a cat to play with, they can swat at it, you can wiggle it around like a caterpillar in the ground for them to chase and you can also give your caterpillar a nice face to just make it extra fun for you and your cat. So let's get right into it. In order to make this caterpillar, you will need some supplies. So the first thing you're going to need in order to make the body of your caterpillar is a pair of tights. You'll see I already cut off a leg of one of these tights. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the other one to make another toy. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. Next, I'm going to take just an everyday plastic bag that you would get from the grocery store or that you hopefully already have around your house somewhere. I'm going to push it until it gets all the way to the toe of the tights. And then I'm going to just tie a knot to get that bump in order to make the first bump in the caterpillar. And that is all I'm going to do until I get to the end. So another plastic bag. These plastic bags I had were kind of thick, so I decided to cut them in half so that I would have more supplies and it wouldn't be such a big bump. But that's really up to you. So I push it all the way down to the first bump and then just tie another knot. I'm gonna take another plastic bag, do the same thing. If you have maybe some smaller produce bags, those will work just fine as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of those now. Oh, after I tie a knot first. All right, this will be my last one. You wanna make sure you have at least three bumps so that it looks more like a worm or a caterpillar. Um, but if you didn't have a pair of tights, maybe you had just a sock or some long socks, your cat will still enjoy playing with this. It just won't look as much like a caterpillar. Tie that final knot. And if you have some extra fabric at the end, go ahead and take your scissors. And if you'd like, you can cut some fringe on the end which can be more fun for your cat to play with, but also just kind of looks like a nice hairdo for your caterpillar. And if you would like, maybe if you have um, a lighter color um, pair of tights, you can draw a nice pattern on it as however you would like to do it, or you could just draw a face on your caterpillar. And there you go. Our caterpillar cat toy for your cat at home, or maybe to gift to somebody else who has a cat at home.